what is happening my beautiful Pisces people I hope everyone is doing fantastic Pisces so I was on vacation and I intended to do more videos but the one video uh, a couple videos I did literally I posted one which was a Pisces season update and that took like three days to upload even though I had are you okay Baba? call it down so um yeah back at it let's see i'm really interested to see what's happening for pisces let's start with the love reading because you know i know pisces kind of wants to know what's going on with that there's some shifts that was one of the readings i did but i'm just going to do it again you can see if the energy was accurate so let's do it pisces pisces okay who is in pisces energy who is tugging at or wants part in or who's in your energy field here let's get like an overview of pisces and love and then we're gonna elaborate into how's this person viewing you how are they feeling about you all that good stuff so who's in pisces energy who's who's tugging or yearning or wanting or desiring same thing who is in pisces energy justice could be a libra it doesn't necessarily have to be this wants to pop out as well king of swords so definitely some sort of air sign i feel could be a gemini a libra or an aquarius someone maybe not by those signs but someone that's very analytical this person could be married already doesn't necessarily have to be okay but maybe someone that wants to bring some balance in, into this connection with you you know maybe they've been harsh and in the past because the king of swords upright is discerning and sharp and and witty but in the reverse at times he could be kind of an ass okay because his mind just gets the better of him you know so let's see who tell me more tell me more i may need to go get some water i'm drinking my protein shake but i just got like really thirsty all of a sudden it's plant-based and really, I feel a lot of us Pisces are really focused on balancing our physical vessel and, and learning how to really, now that, you know, we're learning how to love ourselves more, loving your body and tending, nurturing to yourself is, is part of it. So, um, yeah, protein or high protein meal in the morning. Obviously, like, I don't think it's good to drink a protein shake every day because it's hard on your liver, right? And also, like, filtration, especially if it's... Um, some sort of way right some sort of w-h-e-y um some sort of animal-based protein this is a plant-based protein which is better i believe but you know what's crazy now okay now i mean i'm really into health and and whatnot um but you have to be careful with animals right because animals have diseases that are transmitted through them and we eat the meat i mean cows cows are supposed to eat grass but if they eat corn they develop some sort of something you know which could salmonella type right that can lead to all sorts of illnesses that are transmitted and plus you know livestock they use most of the antibiotic sorry my dog's really loud you most of the antibiotic that we have so through eating that meat we also you know create resistance to antibiotics that later could be useful for us it's point being so much but you're tending to your body. Let's see who is this king of swords. I did say this was a a love up. Kobe. We got him a pup cup, or they gave him a pup cup, and that was yesterday night. But he was looking at it, so that was left there. And now he's just Kobe. Please stop. No, go lay down. Please. No. All right, guys, I'm sorry I'm being distracted. Let me go pick this up real quick. Cobes. <laughs> hey, it's done. No more. Yeah, I don't think the pup cup's good for him, you know, unless it's all that greasy, fatty. All right, back. This is not, you know, guys, I'm sorry. I get swept away. What is this King of Swords? Okay, that's a lot, but we're going to look at it. Six of Swords. I'm going to pick them up as they are. Four of Cups. The Emperor. Oh, this is interesting. Knight of Swords. And the Fool in the Reverse. Yeah. So I feel like this is sort of a someone that is 
a boss figure, a business person, someone that is elevated in their position, okay? It could be some sort of, you know, you know where that's going to fit in their life. But I do feel like they want to make and move forward um, in some sort of way with you. Where in the past, maybe they haven't, or the situation is still stagnant. Maybe they're feeling a little reckless at this time, but they have hesitated before. And things have been at a standstill, or they're not happy where they are now. You know, they feel like you guys are separated at odds you know whatever but they're unhappy about this they're contemplating they're discontent with the situation all right two more cards on who this emperor is so someone that has a business someone that or is high rank authority figure maybe an older person you know they really do want to rush in but this person is a calculated person they have learned to wait and pause and so but you make them want to kind of rush forward in here and the sort of frustration you know of not being able to truly go and just do and what they feel and go on off a whim but they want to move transition okay actually what is this four of cups first what is this four of cups and then we're going to get with a different deck what is this four of cups Two of Wands. Yeah, this person wants to. They're planning. They're, you know, they can see a future with you, okay? This person is holding a world. They're envisioning something, a, whole, a, a different situation with you, a different future. Like, they're planning. They actively think about it. Tell me more about this Four of Cups and this Two of Wands. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at this one as well. Wow, there's some interesting cards coming out here, guys, okay? <laughs> lovers, eight of wands in the reverse. Well, lovers and ace of wands. This person has a lot of passion for you, okay? This person absolutely sees you as a romantic connection, a very significant one, okay? But they, it's like this duality because they're so passionate about you. They're ready to rush in. They want to go for it. But then there's this, like, standstill, right? It's creating this friction within them and that's how we create energy actually that's what all energy is so this is really fascinating because you guys have this or now more you're more disconnected pisces especially if you have aquarius in your chart my oh my because aquarius is detached right it is the water barrier that barrier every time bearer <laughs> we're not gonna go there but they're detached in a way so you detaching you're really focusing on different things and maybe like you could have done some unexpected things and or switched your social group in some sense and they don't have as much access to you um yeah pisces this person all right tell me more about this person who is this person oh let's see how are they viewing pisces guys you're gonna let me know if this video is too much how's this person viewing pisces actually let's get like this let's do some decks we haven't used in a while how is this person viewing Pisces? Nurturing. Oh, and this one was from a different deck, but it popped out. The Advocate. Nurturing. So this person feels like you are on their side. This person feels like you're trustworthy. This person feels like someone that is there for them and dependable, even if not physically just emotionally or energetically or telepathically the nurturing energy even you know you two seem like obviously this person is wise and understands but the the perceptive they they've perceived on you guys maybe haven't had as much actual communication but your energies um and the things that you do or how you show up even in the short circumstances that you have anyhow it's they perceive you as someone that is dependable someone that um is there and caring for them what else there's a whole lot of words for that mm. all right advocate nurturing creativity yeah i feel like this person thinks you're super creative but you also inspire them to be more creative in a very loving, subtle, like, they're a king and they spot a queen and vice versa. It doesn't have to be masculine. Like, they see your universal light and holistic health. Yeah, also maybe you inspire them to be 
heal themselves in other ways, like the mystical parts of healing, energy healing, you know, healing by sound is going to be the way of the future, I think, like vibrations. So, Pisces. Okay, what else? How does this person view Pisces? And then we're going to see how this person feels towards Pisces. They feel like you're just that energy that is healing, you know? When you're with someone and you're just such a good vibe, like that energy, that connection actually is healing. We spark energy growing up, wanting to grow and experience rejection of perpetual youth. So this person sees you as someone very wise, someone that is eager to continue to grow and learn and evolve. And that inspires them in a way. Wanting to experience more, not settling for the mundane, not settling for what's you know, society wants you. I wonder what will happen next. The law is not justice. Very interesting because this person views you as also someone that does not really follow like conventional rules, even of like relationships. You know, if this person sees that you're open, they see that maybe like even just like a marriage or a contract, you, you know, the contract of love, true love, like the twin flame, I don't even like to use that word, is one of like energy, of connection, of one that you meet a person and you just have this caring for them and you know that there is a soul, someone that you know for, or feel like you've known for so long, even if you haven't. This is that type of soul contract. Sometimes in society, people get married for many different reasons. That is not that internal energy. So anyway, they see that you see past that. And some for some of you, they're like, listen, just because you're in a connection, that I mean, not that you're interfering with anything, but they see you more open-minded, okay? And you are open to new experiences and um, preparedness of change, pause before action, ready to adventure. There's some sort of anticipation. One more of these cards, and then we're going forward for how this person feels towards you. <sighs> I need some water. Hold on, guys. No, today. <gasps> Okay, well, that's not good because I went on vacation for a couple days and I come back and there's no water except gallons of like five liter and I can't drink out of those. So, <laughs> um, what's happening? Curious, sir. Oh, this popped out. So, they see you as someone very curious. Discovery, inquiry, weirdness, curiosity. They see you as someone very unconventional. This is making me think of the Hierophant in the reverse in a sense. Rules that are not fair, things that are not balanced. And so you're curious. You almost bring out the curiosity. It's almost like you can spot their limitations or see right through them on such a deep level. And it's not that you're like pointing it out or whatever, but they see that you're um, someone that is very perceptive and it brings, and you can see right through them. So it almost makes them feel vulnerable and that's what almost makes them work on them, right? You are their mirror. You see, in a sense, past that. So again, someone very different than anyone they've ever known. Maybe someone, again, just more open-minded. All right. How does this person feel towards Pisces? Okay, there's two cards face down. Let me just look at them. Keeping up and lead the way. Wow, so this person sees you as such a leader, okay? Such a leader, keeping up, immense effort, advance, and then lead the way, be a leader, show others how it's done. You can help others. So they see that simply just by you being you, by you always yearning for growth, right? And really what, what that is is the universal light flowing through you because you're in flow and you're able to receive these messages of the future in a sense, right? This You're so connected, and this person finds you so creative and so incredibly different um, that it really is just, they're just in awe. Okay, how does, how does this person feel towards Pisces? I saw one, uh, 1444. How does this person feel towards Pisces? How do they feel? And we're going to get with a different deck. Find the lesson, discover the purpose in the situation, trust that you are learning. 
So this person could be triggered by you in, in a little sense in the fact that, you know, they're so pulled towards you or this dynamic that they've never felt before. Or like, you know, this telepathic just energy or them, you know, all that stuff. And they're here trying to discover or learning from you, right? They, they're here learning from you. Because this person has seemed so logical and they're also set in maybe their ways. This person could be a mature person that's set in their ways. You are so open-minded. I think that's how it's coming off here. What else? How does this person feel towards Pisces? And then let's get with a different deck. How do they feel towards Pisces? Impossible things and belong to my own dream. Wow. <laughs> Can't make this up. So Pisces, you are literally like a dream, okay, working through your disbeliefs, um, imaginative leaps, fresh perspectives. So you bring such a fresh perspective, such a fresh energy to this person, just this like upliftment, vibrant energy. You are literally, again, the flow of healing light. When you're in the flow, the flow of the universe passes through you and you are this authentic self and you just like are the light that heals people, okay? You are a healer, Pisces. You just have to find your medium of doing so okay like through your energy simply being you and this person okay create your own life they're so inspired to actually make some sort of change in their life okay some sort of um different thing they're imagining something else for themselves because they're able to see how different you are okay and seeing that yes you can change you can maneuver you're so fluid this person is probably not as fluid okay emperor king of swords just imagine who this is for you of course opposites attract all right how does this person feel towards pisces and then we're gonna get pisces your advice and we're gonna wrap this up so i can go find some water because i'm parched but i must go through on pisces okay rebirth i am presence and angels and masters all right, this person feels that you are certainly someone that was fated in their path to help them transform. It's like you're this angel, you're you're this person that stumbled upon their path and you're like this gift. Okay? And you're you're helping them learn how to be more present and get out of their mind, right? And actually see different possibilities and all that good stuff there is, this person feels like a complete rebirth. Like you're helping this person have some sort of kundalini awakening, some sort of transition, significant, you know, communication and peace. Yeah. I feel like obviously when you are in a connection with someone, um, you know, you can feed off of each other's energy. Sometimes that's why, you know, when you're with someone, you got to be careful because they drain you because whoever you're in close proximity to and your energy is connected, there's an exchange. So this person's exchange with you brings them peace. You know, be careful because you don't ever want to. And I feel like that you've learned so much in detaching yourself and learning how to, you know, figure out what's yours and what not and how to like transmute it better. But anyhow, this person... Pisces is smitten with you okay this person you bring them a lot of peace um they feel like you guys have a telepathic communication like this this way to communicate that they've never experienced with other people like that even if you guys you guys just get each other you're just on a wavelength all right clarity in the reverse we're gonna move forward because I didn't ask I wasn't super intentional about that last part okay what is Pisces advice? This is not the best deck to get him. What is Pisces advice? I want to keep going, but I don't want to make this video too long because I could keep going. Because messages today are just like, just, I don't know. Maybe the different cards I'm doing with, right? It just hits different. See, when you, you feel creative. Leo, okay, talking about creativity. Pisces, the more in tune you are with yourself, your advice here is to be Focus on you, right? Like, for instance, I went on vacation. I got a lot of sun. I just relaxed. I had, like, I wanted to get so much stuff done. But I, when I was there, I was like, you know what? The best thing that I could do, I listened to affirmation videos. I worked out. It was literally, like, the first time I went on a super chill. And I do feel that it rejuvenated me. And it, again, I think it somewhat, a little bit shows through this video, right? When your body and stuff is in balance and you're getting the right energy and you're, like, you know, you radiate. And that energy of radiation... Not radiation, because you know. 
is the universal light. If I can find this card, the universal light that heals people. You being you, spreading your light. That is what spreads the message. That is what spreads, gives people a view into the angels and masters, right? The connection that you have to, to that energy, the universal truth. All right, Pisces, so that's what I have for you. I think I may do an extended. I don't know if it is. It'll be in the link below. If not, sorry, next time. But um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.